The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. We are live one hour early today. You'll notice producer Louis Motamedi is here wearing dark sunglasses. He also has a brown bag lunch, which his mom made for him because it's a very unusual day, actually, for producer Louis Motamedi involving an eye surgery. And as a result, we've had to kind of shift things around, which I'm glad to do. Uh, but explain, Lewis, what exactly is the condition, and will the will you continue wearing sunglasses on the show indefinitely? No, I think this is a one-time thing. Hopefully, okay. Hopefully, a one-time. What's the thing. condition? It's called corneal erosion, which okay. pretty much is, is self-explanatory. Is it? I don't know what that means. Well, when your corneas erode, that's that's what's happening. But what's what are the symptoms? Like, how did you first know you had this condition? Um, took me a long time to actually seek help because at first it just feels like you have something in your eye. There's a lot of stigma associated with it, so you didn't necessarily want to reach out for help right away. Right, right. <laughs> so uh, I had no idea there was a problem until I was in a lot of pain all the time. And um, yeah, so then I found out I have this condition. And you already had this procedure on your other eye, uh, like what, a year ago? Uh, or more, yeah. Yep. Actually, I had it done twice. Twice on the same eye. And the procedure is called a keratectomy, a superficial keratectomy. And it's not pleasant. No, no. I encourage people to look it up. What's the gist of it? I mean, basically, there's just scraping done of the eye. Scraping and puncturing of the cornea and perhaps some polishing with a, a Dremel-like tool um, on the eye. Yeah. And how long does this procedure take? Uh, not long. Maybe maybe 15 minutes. And is there like a pre, do you have to do stuff beforehand to prepare for it? I mean, I know you're no. wearing the dark sunglasses today, but that's, that's really... That's just because my eye's in bad shape, yeah. and it's it's very light sensitive right now. But this is a high success rate procedure, right? Uh, from what I understand, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Worked on my left eye. After, after the, the second, second time. <laughs> after the second time, so right. So, so far, you're 50-50 on these things. Hopefully, your ratio will increase to two out of three after today. Yeah, I've got my fingers crossed. All right, but Lewis, uh, uh, he'll be okay. He's he's able to not wear his shoes in the studio today, and just generally, you're you're doing well. But you did bring. How is this procedure connected to bringing in a brown bag lunch from your mom's fridge? Um, it's just good to have uh, a full stomach when you're going to be in a lot of pain. Oh, oh, because you'll be taking, uh, I assume, some kind of pain medication. And just in general, like it's like when you go get a tattoo, you're supposed to uh, be on a full stomach. Oh, I didn't. Know. Uh, I guess. Like some people pass out uh, from from pain when when they have an empty stomach when they're uh, short on calories, I guess. Right. Yeah. So right, that's well. never happened to me, but um, you know why not play it safe? We'll keep an eye on it. Lewis offered to have us go and film the procedure for the show, but I don't. I, I think we'll just leave this one to the medical professionals. Okay. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. I thought people might uh, might get a kick out of it if if it were if it were filmed. You know, no, no major production, just, just a like a hand, a uh, handheld hand phone, handful, phone yeah. camera, whatever. Right. No big deal though. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm sure people can YouTube it. Hopefully, um, you won't need another one of these. But if you did, then we could look at maybe filming that one with a full camera crew, boom microphones, and the whole thing. Sure. Uh, your doctor, I feel like, wouldn't mind that. Um. Well, who knows? It's a small room usually, so. Yeah. I'm not sure. All right. Well, I'll check in a, a little later today with Lewis and see what's going on and make sure to update uh, all Twitter and Facebook feeds because I know people will be uh, concerned, really, for Lewis's well-being.